Hey guys and welcome to Hada Gastro. In today's video, we will be doing a quick review on the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So let's get started. So the first difference we're going to look at is the cause. So in type 1 diabetes, the patient's pancreas is damaged by the body's autoimmune attack on the pancreatic beta cells. These are the cells in the body which are responsible for producing insulin. So in type 1 diabetes, we have low levels or no levels of insulin in the blood because the pancreatic beta cells, which are the cells in the pancreas or in the body that are responsible for producing insulin, are damaged by an autoimmune attack. So this happens in type 1. But in type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is not damaged by an autoimmune attack, but here the patient's body is unable to make enough insulin or the insulin he is able to make doesn't function as effectively as it should. So here the patient does produce insulin, but he may not produce enough, or he may produce insulin that doesn't function as effectively as it should in the body. So in both cases, we'll have increased blood sugar levels, but the main difference here is that lack of response to insulin. The insulin association. So in type 1 diabetes, the patient suffers an absolute insulin deficiency because their pancreas cannot produce any insulin at all. And in type 2 diabetes, the patient suffers a relative insulin deficiency together with some sort of insulin resistance. So here the body does produce, it either doesn't produce enough or it produces some that the rest of the body resists. So the cells in our body can't really use the insulin because of some sort of inability to function as it should. So some risk factors. So in type 1 diabetes, so because we don't currently know what causes type 1 diabetes, we just know that it's an autoimmune response against the insulin-producing beta cells, we don't really know what the risk factors are. But scientists have researched this topic thoroughly and have found that there may be some genetic association involved here. And you can check that out in my video on type 1 diabetes. So in type 2 diabetes, we know that some things can put you at risk of having type 2 diabetes, like weight and ethnicity. So usually patients who are overweight, who lead inactive lifestyles, who have high blood pressure and hypercholesterolemia are also at risk to suffer from type 2 diabetes. So here the cause is also unknown, but it's related to weight, age, inactivity and genetics. So now let's look at the age of diagnosis. So in type 1 diabetes, the patients are usually diagnosed in childhood and adolescence. And in type 2 diabetes, the patients are usually diagnosed over the age of 40. Onset. So in type 1 diabetes, the onset in these patients is usually rapid and can occur over the course of a few weeks and may often present acutely with ketoacidosis. So the onset is very rapid. And in type 2 diabetes, the onset in these patients is usually very slow and gradually occurs over the course of a few years. Insulin dependency. So in type 1 diabetes, insulin administration in these patients are essential for survival. And in type 2 diabetes, insulin administration in these patients are not required for survival. And most patients are treated chronically with the use of oral medications. They can, however, after a while, be treated with insulin administration. But usually, for the majority of their lifespan, these patients can be treated with oral glucose medications. So association with patient weight, so we mentioned this briefly earlier as well. In type 1 diabetes, the majority of these patients are often thin or have a normal weight. But in type 2 diabetes, the majority of these patients are often obese or have excess body weight. Some co-pathologies at the time of diagnosis. So in type 1 diabetes, these patients often have a higher than normal level of ketone bodies in their blood at the time of diagnosis and they are prone to ketoacidosis. So in these patients, because their pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin, the body will look for different sources of energy. And one way it can do that is by breaking down the fatty acids in our body, so breaking down the fat to produce energy. And the byproduct of this breaking down process is the ketone bodies. So usually, a co-pathology at the time of diagnosis in type 1 diabetes is ketoacidosis. So we have a high level of ketone bodies in the blood. And this is because there is glucose available, but our body cannot use it because of the lack of insulin. So we break down fatty acids to produce energy, but in doing so, we produce high amounts of ketone bodies, which causes the patient to be found in a state of diabetic ketoacidosis. 
So that's a co-pathology in type 1 diabetes that may be found. And in type 2 diabetes, these patients also suffer from high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels at the time of diagnosis. So these are patients who probably lead a very inactive lifestyle or eat a lot of unhealthy foods. And that's when the type 2 diabetes usually sets in. We have some sort of resistance building up against the insulin. So in these patients, we will have overweightness, hypercholesterolemia, and hypertension usually associated. So the estimated percentage of occurrence for type 1 diabetes, only 5 to 10% of all diabetic patients suffer from type 1 diabetes. So remember again, this means that only 5 to 10% of all diabetic patients suffer an absolute insulin deficiency. And the rest of them, so in type 2 diabetes, we have 90 to 95% of all diabetic patients who suffer from type 2 diabetes. So this means 90 to 95 percent of these patients suffer a relative insulin deficiency. And that brings us to the end of this video on the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.